£10,000 lump sum and pensioners should pay more in national insurance for everything they earn over the state pension. Uh, lots of views coming in. Here's just a quick one, though. Uh, £10,000 gift to buy your first house. The gift is to the house seller. It feeds the market, not the buyer. It just ratchets up house prices. It's a self-destroying policy, a typical brain-dead committee idea. Um, just after five o'clock, we'll hear from F uh, Frank Field, the Labour MP, who chairs the Work and Pensions Select Committee. We'll see what he has to say about it. So if you want to text us, 85058. BBC Five Live. Hi, I'm Nihal Arthanaika, and recently on Afternoon Edition, I've had the pleasure of being joined by some incredible guest presenters. Kimberly Wyatt, guest co-presenter today. Hello. Hello there. None other than Maya Jama. Today it is. Angelica Bell. Hello. Grace Dent is here. I've made myself incredibly at home in this studio already. It's Laura Whitmore. Amber Davis is my co-presenter today. When I got given this opportunity, I thought, I'm just going to grab it with both hands. I'm just going to do it. And we're not stopping there. This week, Dermot O'Leary. You finally realise what it's like to be a rock star. He's a very charming, very funny, intelligent man. <laughs> Afternoon Edition with Nahal Arthanaika. Thursday from 1 on BBC Five Live. Now, why should you get a much better deal for switching rather than staying with your existing insurer? It's a question that always provokes a heated response. It's something the industry has now said it's going to crack down on. Five Live Money's Danny Houston's here. So what's changing, Danny? Are they going to ring you up and say, actually... Uh, we're, we're going to cut £100 off your off your premium. Is that what they're going to say to us? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be fantastic? Mm. I can't right imagine out. that <laughs> that you're going to get that straight away. However, they have issued a set of guiding principles. This is the two bodies that represent insurers and brokers. What they've said is that uh, they agree, something that we've known for a long time, that uh, the differences between what... The insurer offers you in that honeymoon period when they're trying to get you on board. And what you get if you're a loyal customer, well, in some cases, there are excessive differences. So they've got these new guidelines which they are putting in place, which they hope will try and prevent that. Because in some cases, Citizens Advice say that it can be 70% the difference between what you get for the honeymoon period and, and what you get if you stay with them and, and don't switch. Well, Hugh Evans is Director General of the Association of British insurers, one of those bodies, and he joins us now. Hi, Hugh. Good afternoon, Danny. So this is something which makes people absolutely furious. You stay with your insurer and you don't get a better deal than people that are coming to the new insurance. Why is that? I agree. It's been one of the things that most impacts people's trust in insurers, even when we pay out millions of claims every day. And at the heart of the problem uh, in the market has been that it works very well for the three quarters of all customers who shop around. There are lots of insurers trying to get their business, offering them introductory offers, quite often heavily discounted. And the market has tended to focus on those customers, with sometimes less focus on the prices for long-standing customers who are happy generally with the price, the cover the service, don't want to move. And it's those customers who we're seeking to help with these principles today. So what will the principles actually do? So uh, there's a couple of key points in the principles. The first is just the statement which you can hold insurers and brokers to that they do not support these excessive differences. We're not trying to defend the indefensible. More concretely uh, we are saying that boards and senior management teams for our members, the insurers and for the brokers will focus on this issue and they will formally incorporate their policies on tackling this issue into the pricing policies that they put through within their businesses. They will also automatically review the prices of people who've win been with them for longer than five years and we will produce a report between ourselves and the brokers in two years time to say how we're getting on and to hold ourselves to account. Also we are inviting the regulator, the Financial Conduct Authority, to scrutinise insurers and brokers behind the scenes, delve into the details of their pricing models if you like, to see whether they're actually holding themselves up to what they've promised today. Because I mean it's up to the individual insurer to decide whether or not these hikes are excessive so isn't this kind of a bit toothless? No, it, no it, at all, because we're inviting the regulator to scrutinise that behind the scenes and we're putting ourselves out there publicly to say, hold us to account on how much change is here. We perfectly understand that people are a bit sceptical to start with. As you say, this problem has been going on for a long time. We want to do something about it. We're happy to be judged on the results. OK, thank you very much indeed. That's Hugh Evans, Director General of the Association of British Insurers. Whether or not that will, you know, deliver you your extra 100 quid on your quote it remains to be seen, as they say, two years to come back with that report. Thanks, Danny. Five to five. 
Now, uh, a music video by the actor and rapper Childish Gambino, a.k.a. Donald Glover, you might know him from Atlanta, is getting people talking around the world with 35 million YouTube views since it was viewed at the weekend. The song is called This Is America. The video depicts several shootings. It's been seen as a commentary on the state of American society. You really should. 